Okay, guys, we're going along here with this whole concept of self-love. Today's gonna be point number two, example number two. Do you really love yourself? So many people say, oh my gosh, I'm loving myself more now than ever, but are you really? And as we go through these different days of examples, you get a chance to judge your own behavior. Now remember, the subconscious mind is gonna try to convince you that you don't have to change. You love yourself exactly as you are. And that's a bunch of nonsense for a lot of us. <laughs> You're tuned into David, including moi. You're tuned into David Essel's daily video boost, your exclusive online video community. Uh, here to help you lift your spirits. Remember to take notes. Don't trust your brain. Take notes and do one thing today you'd rather not do. Okay, so example number two is we need to forgive ourselves for being a jerk in writing. Now, you might be sitting here, and if you are Mother Teresa, and you've reincarnated, and you're watching this as somebody else, but you're actually Mother Teresa, maybe you don't have anything to forgive yourself for. But the rest of us, we probably do. We probably have been jerks. Maybe we were a jerk 15 minutes ago. Maybe we got up on the wrong side of the bed, and we yelled at someone, or kicked the cat, or yelled at the dog, or our partner, or kids, or something, for no real reason. Right? So self-love means that you are humble, you are vulnerable, that you accept the fact that you were a dickhead, you were a jerk, and you go ahead and forgive yourself. We're not talking about getting anyone else involved yet. We're just saying, forgive yourself, write about it. Wow. Here's the two or three things I did this week that I was an absolute jerk. I cut this guy off in traffic. I cut this woman off. I gave someone the bird in traffic, you know, whatever it might be, right? Or, or I was unkind to someone that works with me or someone that works for me or Whatever it might be, write it down. Here are the things I did that I was a jerk. It's an absolute form of self-love to call ourselves out and then to forgive ourselves. It's actually two steps, isn't it? Call yourself out for being a jerk. It maybe it was six months ago. Maybe you haven't been a jerk in six months. Pull that memory back, write it down, and then write underneath it, I forgive myself for and rewrite what you were a jerk, how you were a jerk. Impatient, irritable, an idiot, hungover, whatever it might be. I mean, there's so many different ways we're jerks in this world, right? So maybe you gossip behind someone's back. Oh my God, that means I am a jerk. for And it's fine. Use the affirmation. I am a jerk for gossiping behind someone's back, okay? It's called reality. That's what this is called. Don't forget to let your friends and family know that I don't know if you're having fun with these, but I'm having a blast that we are on the air for them as well. Get them to join the Daily Boost. Profound self-love in our brand new book, Focus. Oh my God, we do a complete chapter on it. You're gonna love it. Grab the book, amazon.com or talkdavid.com. And as you're watching these videos and you're going, I haven't been able to forgive myself for all these things I've done, or I don't really know if I love myself and I need to get on track to love myself. Let's work together. Oh my Lord, we can cut your time in half or more of achieving your massive goals. Email me at talkdavid.com. Let's keep moving forward, okay? Have a beautiful day.